so I've actually got an eye beacon attached to my cat. Ruby is alive, Ruby's not going in. Oh, I want to dream for developer happiness. from Yotpo, and we're going to talk about Redis, Rails, and Cache. Uh, some background about Yotpo. We are serving uh, 270 million uh, end users. We have uh, 140,000 customers and about 3 billion impressions a month. Uh, for the past four years, we, we have been working with Rails and uh, Redis a lot, and because of issues in Redis, I missed 29 dates. <laughs> Uh, Rails, cache, well, that's easy, and uh, adding Redis there, it's extremely easy. You just uh, install a few gems, install Redis around, and here you go, everything runs out of the box, looks like magic. When, once you finish your POC, you deploy to production and find out there are issues with it. There are three main pitfalls that people tend to forget about Redis when they deploy to production. The first one. Simultaneous access. Redis is not something, uh, is a single th threaded process. It's not something that you simultaneously can access and pull data of, uh, out of one Redis instance. So try to avoid as many ON commands uh, as possible. The solution for it is, uh, simple, uh, is simple. You just reduce your timeouts. Where uh, basically, if by accident you uh, one of the developers did something with a poor uh, with a poor command that runs for uh, for too long, it allows you to uh, skip and f and fall back to your data layer, and from there on uh, you reduce the time that users wait for responses. In the bottom line, uh, second thing is data structure. Uh, you find yourself after. Uh, a uh, after a while, uh, that your data structure in the Redis is not quite what you were expecting. Uh, and you should remember always that you will need to delete data from Redis. The solution for it is use uh, smart uh, data types that Redis supports. Redis supports hashes, sets, and lists. You should uh, check out your business logic and understand what access you would need to Redis. And you can uh, patch it very easily through uh, Redis Store RB, uh, which basically comes with default Redis gem. You can just write a monkey patch to fix it. And the third one is TTLs. Uh, basically, people say, OK, to avoid the two previous issues, I'll just use uh, TTLs. For each key that I'll put in Redis, I'll add some TTLs and uh, everything will be fine. Redis will delete it some, uh, at some point when, when it will need uh, more room. But unfortunately, the, LR the LRU uh, algorithm implemented in Redis is not uh, perfect. So you find yourself after a while with uh, a lot of memory fragmentation. The solution for it is to manage your cache. Don't be afraid to delete data. Don't be afraid to uh, delete more than you even think that you need to delete, because eventually you will uh, find all of those small uh, places where you delete too much, and you will be able to fix them. It's easier to do it so, and uh, less troubles in uh, production in the future. Thank you very much.